All right, found my exit back here with another video. Today, we'll be doing another profit or loss challenge, another price beat challenge of a mystery booster pack. So this time, this mystery pack is from Unlisted Leaf. Now, arguably the biggest uh, Pokemon streamer in the world, I would say by subs, I believe he is the biggest Pokemon streamer in the world. Um, and he is a fellow Australian. So very proud to open um, the Unlisted Leaf mystery booster packs. Now inside, we've got a similar tier structure to what you see in a lot of the other booster packs. These do go for 75 Australian dollars. Um, and these are the tiers, right? So we've got the green tier, which is your minimum guarantee, which is just a sword and shield pack. Um, you have a one in five chance of an XY or a sun and moon era, a you know one in 10 chance of a black and white era and a one in 25 chance of a Watsi era. So everything pre Ruby and Sapphire would fall into Watsi um, and black and white. X, Y, Sun and Moon. So I wonder if you have a chance of getting um, those Gap series, you know, the EX series, the ones that were between Black and White and Watsi, I'm not too sure. Um, this is actually the first time opening one of these packs. So, you know, we'll jump into it for the purpose of the Profit or Loss Challenge and see how we do. So I believe unlike other mystery packs I have opened, your tiered mystery pack will be these colors here. So as soon as I open it up and we see the color of the mystery pack, we will know what we have got. So I'll try to start just with the sword and shield packs, which you are guaranteed again, five sword and shield booster packs and the one mystery pack. So let's get into it. We have fusion strike. Go ahead and uh, check what we may have pulled in Fusion Strike in one of the previous videos. I finally pulled uh, the Gengar Alt Art. Uh, spoiler alert. Vivid Voltage, Fusion Strike, Darkness Ablaze, Brilliant Stars, and our fifth Sword and Shields pack is Astral Radiance. Not bad, a good variety there. I um, definitely, you know, we're seeing some of the packs that you don't see as commonly. Now we will see the tier of the mystery pack and it is green so it's just the minimum guarantee there we'll just pop that one up there even though there's nothing too special in it and we'll pop this to the side so 75 dollars in the negative as of now we've got all these packs to open we'll see how we go uh, in preference order i think i'll somewhat be like this so i'll just stack them up here and we'll start with the Astral Radiance. So, wish us luck, we'll keep the tally going up in the corner here to see how we're tracking. And hopefully, we can pull some big hitters to make that $75 back and see if we can launch ourselves into profit. All right, so all Sword and Shield. So we'll be doing the pack trick of four cards to the back. And we'll go through these quickly to see what we can pull. We have a Radiant in our first pack, so not bad, of probably still just a couple of dollars, but it will help towards that total. So we'll pop that over to the side. We'll pop our bulk over here and we'll jump into Fusion. Now, can we continue our Fusion luck with, as I mentioned from uh, one of our other Profit or Loss challenges? Go check that video out if you haven't seen it. Um, we were able to pull the Gengar Alt Art. So I was very happy with that. I've been chasing that card for quite some time. And we have a non hollow rare. The big old Genghis Khan there. So, moving into Darkness Ablaze. Now, where can we pull that big Charizard from this set? Um, I do have it, but I haven't personally pulled it. I did buy it. Alright, same pack trick. Jump through this and see how we're doing for the profit or loss. Do tell me in the comments if you think that we're due to profit or whether we're gonna need a lot of luck. So we've got a V card there. The Grim Snarl, not too bad a hit, but still probably only a couple of dollars, three or four dollars if we're lucky. Um, but we'll throw it up and add it to the total. So the total will just be going, you know, hollows and up, I think, for the price beat challenges. It's just easier than trying to tally every reverse and every other card 
in the set. So now we are moving on to the Vivid Voltage. Can we get that Chonkachu? Um, I have pulled the um, Rainbow, but that was quite some time ago. Haven't opened a whole lot of Vivid Voltage recently and we have a non-holo rare from Vivid Voltage. So not looking so good so far with the Price Beat Challenge. We're going into Brilliant Stars. If we are able to pull that Rainbow Zard, that Alt Art Charizard, we will launch ourselves definitely into Profit Town um, and hopefully we can do so. So let's go Pack Trick, four to the front and away we go. So again, let me know in the comments whether you think these price beat challenges are cool. We've got an Arceus V. So again, nothing too large, but you know, will help add to that total if we are able to pull something decent from the, the mystery pack, which was again, our minimum guarantee of um, a Sword and Shield era pack. And it's another brilliant stars. So we do get another chance at one of these Zardy boys. So wish us luck, see if we can pull this pack uh, profit or loss challenge out of the negative. So far we are well in that negative. $75 cost value for the mystery pack. Um, and we're probably, you know, lucky to be over $10 right now. So let's continue into our last pack, the Brilliant and Stars booster pack. And we have just a normal boss's orders hollow. So look, the total is up on the screen. We'll and I, I think uh, it's pretty clear to say that was a loss. But, you know, just to recap, these were the hits that we got out of our six packs, five Sword and Shield packs, including the one Mystery Pack, which was, again, a Sword and Shield pack. Two pretty nice V cards um, to add to the collection, but definitely a loss in this video. So we'll be doing more of these. Uh, please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying the videos. Um, I'll leave them to the side to sleeve and thanks again for watching the video. We'll see you next time.